Okay, so um, uh, in in 1920s and uh, before nine, uh, uh, year 2000s, uh, there are uh, outbreaks like typhoid, cholera, and all that uh, has actually been controlled. Uh, even the Nipah virus outbreak, um, uh, that is something that I learned from history. But uh, as a nurse, I have actually gone through uh, during SARS periods in 2003. Uh, I've been through uh, all uh, the recent outbreaks of uh, dengue in 2007 and have actually contributed in helping out uh, uh, in NUH to set up dengue outpatient management where we uh, manage all the dengue patients uh, in the clinic and reduce uh, admission. Um, so those are the time of outbreak and recently of course the Ebola and MERS COVID where we do a lot of preparation here uh, in Tan Tok Seng and uh, other hospitals in Singapore to actually um, prepare for any uh, suspected or even uh, actual uh, Ebola cases. Yeah, so uh, I, I would say that the, uh, the preparation for Singapore and the control uh, has been very good so far. Uh, infectious, infectious disease has been very interesting and very challenging and uh, as an advanced practice nurse, uh, I'm able to actually manage uh, these cases uh, from blue letters and uh, it's, it's very rewarding to actually see patients who get better uh, once the correct treatment are actually instilled and um, to see them in the community as well, to see that they are remaining well, they are uh, actually uh, uh, continuing with their treatment, uh, it's really satisfying. Uh, of course, um, many feared about the work that we do in infectious diseases, um, but I guess my, for my family, uh, uh, personally, they are very, very supportive. Uh, they are not worried because they know that I do have the knowledge of infectious diseases and I will be able to actually uh, apply that knowledge uh, to, to stop any spread of infection to myself and also to others around me. Mm, I would say that our infectious diseases um, control has been very good and um, in terms of uh, um, treatment, uh, we have advances in antimicrobial treatment. Uh, we can treat quite a bit of uh, 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 difficult diseases. But uh, I guess the knowledge of uh, the use of these uh, antimicrobial uh, is important because uh, at the end of the day, if it's uh, not used properly, uh, we will perhaps create um, resistant bug and that's where you know I think uh, our infectious disease knowledge need to actually also spread uh, to the community like the GPs and also polyclinics staff be it not nurses and doctors hmm okay so HIV is another uh, infections that I think uh, the advances has been great in terms of treatment and treatment are currently also becoming more affordable, uh, especially with the government subsidies as well as the use of Medisafe. Um, I think the work that we can do more further for this group of patients is basically to look into um, supporting them in community. Uh, for example, like patients who are elderly, or unable to come into the clinic uh, due to mobility issues, uh, perhaps we can look into home consults or even satellite clinic uh, in the community, uh, be it in polyclinic or private clinics, to actually manage stigmatization of this group of patients and hence increase uh, adherence to treatment and also follow up, uh, uh, follow up of uh, doctor's treatments. The, the risk of MERS uh, spread in, during Hajj and Umrah definitely uh, is there uh, because of the nature of the rituals whereby uh, millions of people are actually gathered together in different sites. 
Um, uh, but I think uh, the pilgrims from Singapore have actually been uh, brief uh, prior to the, uh, the, the flight uh, to Saudi uh, with uh, knowledge, equipped with knowledge of hand washing uh, and hygiene practices so that they would not be able to, uh, they, they would actually reduce the risk of uh, getting the infection and spreading the infections. Um, the uh, medical team, Singapore medical team actually goes to, we together with the uh, pilgrims to actually assess patients who are uh, unwell. So from there, uh, they will be able to escalate to the Saudi medical centers. And um, the Saudi medical centers uh, actually have facilities to even uh, isolate uh, the pilgrims if they are suspected with MERS. So I guess the process are, are actually really looked into and um, the pilgrim is themselves are also very responsible. Uh, they will report any of uh, um, any respiratory symptoms uh, to their travel agents, uh, and usually the travel agents will bring them to the uh, Singapore medical team uh, who look after them uh, in Saudi. Um, so I guess uh, the the fear is there every year that. Uh, this group of uh, pilgrims from Singapore come back with the disease, but I think most of them are actually very well, uh, very well because they are very well managed back in Saudi, um, and uh, the risk is low to actually uh, have a spread from uh, these groups of uh, pilgrims. Mm, okay. Well, Singapore is in a point of globalization. Um, well, we travel, and travel is very easy, and hence, you know, any infection can uh, easily come to Singapore. Uh, I guess with the history that we have uh, here, we are we will be able to face uh, any uh, threats or any infection, a uh, new infection. Uh, uh, that come to Singapore. So I guess, uh, well, we will take it as it comes. Uh, but from history, we have proven to actually um, uh, are prepared. So it's, it's boils down to all uh, the team uh, effort. Uh, here in Tan Tok Seng, uh, drills have been done to actually uh, get us prepared. Uh, and that is very helpful and useful so that our staff uh, are able to face the real thing when they are uh, 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 when the infection actually comes to Singapore. Of course, uh, infectious disease uh, in nursing, especially, uh, I really do hope that uh, one day it's recognized as a speciality, um, and uh, it's actually uh, currently when people actually talk about infectious disease nursing. Uh, people will talk about infection control, uh, but uh, many of us know that uh, there's more to it, uh, and nursing actually plays an uh, important role in uh, looking at uh, the various part of infectious disease like in HIV nursing, travel nursing, um, even OPAT. Um, and from my experience, uh, I think uh, we can do uh, more in nursing so that uh, our patients and our community can actually um, get supported uh, in terms of uh, infectious diseases. I would, get, I would say that knowledge is the key point. Um, uh, education, uh, we need to look into our education system in nursing uh, to incorporate certain things like microbiology, pharmacology uh, and, uh, and to actually practice it on the daily clinical rounds. Um, at first, from my experience, it's tough because I don't get um, a, a formal uh, tutorial or formal teaching on these areas, but I learn it from the job. 
and uh, I got a very supportive uh, infectious disease physician who actually uh, impart the knowledge to me and uh, that I think uh, uh, is very important that the nurses do not fear about the knowledge uh, in infectious diseases and continue to actually practice them in every day's uh, uh, work and um, continues to also learn new uh, things in infectious diseases. Um, well, there's hope that you know one day we will have uh, infectious diseases um, uh, school probably for nursing. But uh, at this point, I think uh, for Tan Tok Sing itself, we are actually looking at uh, uh, providing edu nursing education in this specialty area. So, um, for the nurses out there, continue to persevere. Uh, there's one day that we will have uh, probably a school and be recognised uh, in infectious disease nursing.